video. I'm not sure how long it's going to be or uh, a couple short ones, but this is going to be a uh, iMovie irritations and tutorials. Basically things that really irritate me about iMovie and then kind of ways to to hack around them or just to avoid using and and you know maybe a couple of t uh, tips here and there but anyways let's get rolling so the first thing that really irritates me is when you when you have your your new project going and then you you're on the photo in the photo section now let me open that up actually hold on and I'm just gonna pick a random photo and drag it in here so the, the worst thing that irritates me is is it's it it's automatically in Ken Burns effect so the first thing you know you don't always want the Ken Burns effect and if you do want the Ken Burns effect, you want a little bit of a, you know, customization. So first thing you want to do is uh, scroll over top of the video and click on this little cog here, and go to cropping Ken Burns and rotation. So first things first, if you want to get rid of the Ken Burns effect completely, first thing you're gonna do is fit, and what that does is just put the picture as it is. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, and uh, it looks like it's four seconds. So while I'm in here, I might as well show you how to to uh, make it longer. So go to if you want to make it longer or shorter. Longer is is probably more complex. You can't just go in here and drag. It won't let you drag. Yeah. If you want to make it longer, it's just for some reason it just won't go bigger. But you can go into the whoa, into this little menu here and go to clip adjustments, and you can add. Let me pull it up here next to the thing. Then you can add some time to it. So for example, if you want to go 10.0 so for that seconds then now your your uh, actual photo that's in the video is 10 seconds you know sometimes you're doing a voiceover and you need longer than than the than the four seconds or sometimes you need it shorter you only need a clip a, a really quick one second so if you want to do that you just drag the little yellow boxes maybe I only want like I would say a second and a half then you can go to edit, and you can do a. Uh... Oh wait, duh! I got to do the other way actually. This is easier. Go this way, <laughs> and then just hit the delete key on your keyboard, and it gets rid of it. So now we're at one and a half seconds. But say, let me undo that real quick. Say you actually want to do some Ken Burns effect, and you want to do a little bit of customization. You go into the menu thing, hit cropping Ken Burns, and you go to Ken Burns effect and you got two two boxes here so the green one is you can read from it it says uh, start and then the red one is end so depending on the size of the video and the direction you can kinda you can make it a little bit custom yeah so from top to bottom and you know from big from a like basically when it when it does do its Ken Burns effect it's gonna zoom so let me go ahead and not make this a little. So I'm gonna go from a, a a bigger picture to a smaller ending. It's gonna basically zoom into it, going from top left to right. So let's go ahead and have a look and see how that works. So here we go. Ready? So if you are doing a slideshow, you can actually add a little creativity and maybe focus on certain parts of the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and I don't really like the way that looks, <laughs> but. Let's make it small from top to bottom. And one of the, the irritations is these these uh these cropping sections are fixed, yeah. You can't go big you can only go a certain size smaller or bigger, yeah. That's as far as it goes down. And you can't go square, it's always, you know, in this fixed ratio. Which can be and to me is rather irritating. But uh let's go ahead and just try it anyway and see how it looks. Okay, so we'll start from there, start from the top, it kind of scrolls down. So, I mean, you can l make it look cool, but the limitations that irritate me are the sizing, the ratio of that box, and uh, the limitations, it's only line linear, yeah, up, down. There's no, like, you couldn't do, like, a curve, kind of like a snake movement type thing. If you want to get in, and I think Apple does this on perfect, um, purpose because they want you to upgrade to Final Cut, 10 which is uh, actually a pretty good price at like 250 bucks compared to what final cut uh 
Oh, Final Cut X now? I forgot. But the previous version was, you know, 900 or 1000 bucks. But So now it's like they just dropped the price to like 250 bucks, which is an awesome deal. But still, it's $250. You know, that's a lot of money for some people. For me, I've I've been wanting to get it, but I don't I don't know if I... Uh, re- I would love to have it, but I don't know if I want to drop that much money. But uh, anyway, so it's just a little... I guess we'll just stop at this. So messing around with, with uh, Ken Burns. If you, again, if you want to fit it so that it's completely the picture with no movement whatsoever. Or if you want to crop, you want to focus on a section of it. But again, it's limited to this, this silly uh, fixed aspect ratio. And it only goes so small. I'll go ahead and I guess do that. Let me have a look at it real quick. So now it's it's blown up. But I mean, yeah, it, it does. It's a free program that comes with macOS. So I guess they have to bake in some limitations. So you you feel if you start getting you know really into editing, they want you to upgrade to the you know the pro version of of uh, Final Cut X. So I think we'll call that we'll call that a wrap for this this tutorial. And uh, I think I'm gonna do a couple more. I'm not sure the name. I'm thinking of naming it. You know. Uh, uh, how to's and irritations of iMovie or some something along those lines. So, so as soon as I actually figure out how to name what to name this, you'll see it. You can check it out, and then from then on, I'll do like a part one, part two, and I kind of put in the title and in this, the description exactly what I'm what I'm doing in the video. So thanks for uh, watching, and don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, comment, and if you need any help, just drop it in the comments, and I'll try to see what I can do for you. Oh, and one one last tip: if you are recording, if you want to record your screen, I use QuickTime, and I have my mixer, and my mic plugged in, so I can get any kind of uh, uh, external sounds and better quality with the, you know, a decent quality mic. So that's what I recommend. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.